So Liverpool are held to a goalless draw to, by West Ham United at Anfield. And it leaves me asking this question. Why are you so inconsistent? I want that question answered because it, it's, it's annoying now. So, it's really annoying. And I think I have an answer for it. My, my, my theory, lack of quality. That's, that's what I think it is. The best way I can sum up that game is frustrating, like many times this season. It was like the West Brom game, except we didn't lose, even though we could have lost, because West Ham had a, had a header cleared off the line by Lucas in the 85th minute. And if we'd lost that, that would have been such a sucker punch. It would have been unbelievable. Um, but fair play to West Ham. They came with a game plan, and it worked. It clearly worked. I mean... Man of a match in that game, West Ham's James Collins. I mean, he, he was brilliant in that game. I got a fair play. Um, he, he had the mark Luis Suarez. Who Suarez had a dreadful game today, to be honest. He did produce a bit of magic, but overall he was dreadful in my eyes. Um, I mean, I don't know how many times Suarez tried to take Collins on and Collins just tackled him. Just like a normal defender. I mean, he was brilliant in that game, i got to say. Cause it's not easy to mark Luis Suarez. Ask other defenders. So, I think that's the quietest I've seen Suarez all season. So, so, so most of the players had a bad game. Uh, but Coutinho was excellent, i got to say again. Coutinho was excellent. He, he always tries to get someone in because that's the type of player he is he's got good vision and he can pick out a pass Henderson was decent um, Gerard was decent um, who else uh, Aga he was decent uh, Carragher was good so I mean the best way I can sum up that game is just frustrating to be honest so it's not much of a review but I'm just saying it was so frustrating trying to um Give a team on because I could see a fr frustration in in the cop when I was listening to the commentary. So it's a game we had to win and we drew, but luckily Everton drew. Everton, Everton drew against Spurs, so we're still three points behind Everton. But but the way they're going, I see them getting fifth. To be honest, Everton, they may even sneak forth and if Everton get Champions League ahead of us I just prove that Everton are better than us at the moment so what I want is an improvement of last season obviously and I want to finish above Everton that's all I want now but I don't think we've got anything to play for now I mean if we if we end up finishing fifth or sixth then that's that's fine with me that's fine with me that's an improvement on last season but we thing is we got to settle for these finishes now that's the only thing but, um, uh, what else? Yeah, it was just a dull game, really. A dull game, not worth watching again. No no quality at all. Suarez was dreadful in that game, in my opinion. If someone else has another opinion, then put it in the comment section below. I'd love to hear it. Um, it was a dull game. I don't know how many times I'm going to say that, but... Anfield was very quiet today. Very quiet. I mean, I mean the players have to get the crowd going, and they didn't really do well. I mean, Gerard had a chance, which was cleared off the line. So, um, pretty dull game. I mean, I don't want to say much more than that. So, so um, Gerard had a clearance off the line. Suarez had a chance. It blasted over the bar, I think. Or did he cross it? I think he crossed it. Just someone um, tried to get in the end of it. And Downing came off. It looked like who had an injury in the 20th minute. Came on for, uh, came off for Sturridge. Uh, and Sturridge was great in that game. He showed, he showed he was bright. And he had a disallowed goal as well. Which was rightly offside. But um, I, I know Liverpool fans are complaining about the referee because some decisions didn't go their way but that's what happens on a frustrating day isn't it uh, blaming the ref is not is not an excuse in a game like that to be honest uh, you can just blame the players basically because they didn't produce the goods when they needed to and 
They're inconsistently, no sorry, consistently inconsistent, if that makes any sense. I mean, that's been a problem for a while. I think that's been a problem since Rafa left or uh, in 2009-10 season. They're, they're consistently inconsistent. I mean, that's just so frustrating and it's so annoying. But I've come to expect it now, to be honest. I was watching Liverpool for as long as I have. Uh, with the drop in form that they've gone in, um, you've got to come to expect it now, to be honest. I'm, I'm used to it now. I'm expecting these results. But I, I wish, I wish that they would beat the lower teams, for Christ's sake. I expect them. I expect a result like that against the big teams, but not against the lower teams like West Ham. So... But fair play to West Ham, they came with a game plan and it worked. So Sam Aldice obviously wanted a point. He almost got all three with a header off the line by Lucas. That would have been a sucker punch. But um, So West Ham go away with a point. A disappointing result for us. Frustrating result for us because we were dominating most of the game. As uh, Well, as, as expected at Anfield, we were supposed to dominate most of the game at Anfield. But... Can't get the elusive goal, so best way I could sum it up is uh, annoying, uh, very annoying, finishing wise. We had, did have a couple of chances. Um, uh, what else? Frustrating. That's a, that's the word I can use. That's all. That's all the word I can. That's all the words I can use. Just so frustrating, so um, uh, annoying, and it leaves me asking the question: Why are Liverpool so inconsistent? So I think that's my review, guys. So. Question. So we got Reading next at the Medeski Stadium. We look like they're going down. So I'm expecting a win there. If we don't win that, then we're in serious trouble. But all I want is to finish above Everton. Now, if we finish above Everton, I'm happy with that. And we have to settle for that, unfortunately. We can't set a sights higher than that at the moment because there's no quality in the side, basically. Not a lot of quality, anyway. So um, anyone blaming Rogers or seeing Rogers out, just. Just turn your back. Don't support the club. That's my opinion. Win, lose, or draw. I'm a Liverpool fan. Okay? Win, lose, or draw. Because I want to be loyal. I want to be loyal to the club. I want to support the club whenever I can. So, win, lose, or draw. I'm a Liverpool fan. So, that's my review, guys. I hope you like it. I know I know. Um, it's, not, it's not, like, up to standard, I don't think. But, with my earlier reviews. But, you know what? I just want to get something up for you guys, but so I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, West Ham came. West Ham held us and held us a nil-nil draw at Anfield. So there's nothing much to say really, except frustrating, annoying. Players couldn't produce the goods when they needed to. So luckily Everton drew, but that's not much a consolation to be honest. That's not much of a consolation, even though we are three points behind them. So. Riding next, let's hope we can win that. Let's hope we can finish strongly as well. So hope you guys enjoy enjoy the video and of course you'll never walk alone. And and by the way, please I want I want you guys to check out my previous video as well, which is titled What You'll Never Walk Alone Means to Me. And it's just me explaining how the anthem, the Liverpool anthem, has influenced me, has made me as a person and how yeah, but just basically give that. How it how it's influenced me and how how it's made me the person I am today. So I want a decent amount of views on that because I want Liverpool fans to watch that, and I w I'd like to have some feedback on it as well. So if you can check that out, I'd much appreciate it. So um, so that's it. Don't forget to subscribe if if you want to see more. Um, I'll always have a match review out as long as I can be bothered. So um, thank you for watching. Of course, LFC fans, you'll never walk alone. And goodbye. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.